Welcome back Year 9. Today we're going to be carrying on with our artist copy of Ian Murphy. So last week we looked at starting to get in our cross hatching of our lighter shades and our negative spaces. Today we're going to be working on refining our drawing and focusing on the darker shadowing and really getting in those dark marks and dark shapes. So firstly, as you can see, I've gone back in with a fine liner. Again, if you don't have a fine liner, you can use a biro pen. This time you will be using your biro with a lot more pressure to get some darker marks. Your lines and cross hatching will be closer together and this will really allow some really dark shadowy shapes. You really need to ensure that you've got the image in front of you and you're looking at the image and you're working out where's the darker parts and what's light and focusing on replicating the same shades and patterns that you can see on the image. As you can see, I'm going back into some of my positive spaces now, making it a little bit darker. Again, it's not going to be as dark as your negative space, but again, I'm just starting to apply some more shadowing and some more shapes in there with my cross hatching. I'm using my pen a lot lighter in these sections and the lines are going to be wider apart to create that lighter effect. When you're going from light to dark, it's really important that you have a middle tone. What I mean by that is you can't just go from pitch black to a white as it wouldn't look natural. You need to ensure that you've got a range of tones going from really dark to a medium before you go to light. This will mean that you'll need to play around with the pressure of your pen. The darker tones that you'll have will be a really hard pressure. You'll then lift the pressure slightly for your mid tones and then for your light tones, you'll ease the pressure off even more and your lines will be wider apart and your cross hatching may be more sporadic. So often you will see throughout the video year nine that I do move my page a lot of the time when I'm drawing into certain shapes. This allows me to get the right angle for the cross hatching to ensure that it fits the shape that I'm actually drawing into to make the dimensions look more realistic. So as I'm going again, I'm moving more into my positive spaces now and my page might turn slightly to fit the shape that I'm working into. Again, I'm having a balance from light to dark as I go, looking at the shadowy part and ensuring that I'm always referring to the original image that's in front of me.
Really important that you keep looking back on your work and going back into points. A few times I've stopped and had a little look at the work and had a step back and really looked at what parts need working back into. So it's important that you do that regularly. Stop and have a good look at your work and think about where it needs to be darker. Is there a section that you've missed out that could be worked into more? And you can work back into that as and when you need to. As I'm coming to the end of my drawing shortly, I'm just going to ensure that I've got all of those dark tones in there. I'm going to keep having a little look to make sure I've got all the detail in that I want. And is there any sections that I can see that have not progressed properly from really dark to middle to light? And the only way I can do that by is stepping back, having a little look and making sure I refer to the original image. So I'm just going back over some of the brickwork now. As they look a little bit dark to me going into light, I need a bit more mid-tone in there. So I'm going to just go back in and reapproach that section and just work back into that with a middle pressure on my pen. So as I'm nearly finishing off now, you should have a piece that looks similar to this. Please keep hold of this piece of work as well as your second collage sheet as we will be using that next week and looking at all the techniques we've used over the last lesson. Well done, Year 9.